talk about the leverage and influence. So we have learned how to detect outliers, which are points with the, uh, uh, with the, the, the high residual value in the absolute sense. And if we, he, here we introduced the uh, other types of the unusual points, leverage points and influential points. And the leverage points are extreme outline points of the independent variables of x. So this leverage is the point, is the diagonal elements of the, of the H, which is called head matrix. So here we call this a head matrix because if we put this H then and Y, and we multiply this H and Y, the matrix multiplication, we get Y hat. So that's why it is called a head matrix. So this leverage points are basically, we are looking at the outlier in the independent value of the axis. So the, here the rule is the, um, if the, the um, HI is greater than two times P plus one divided by N, here the P is the number of the predictors, then the corresponding point can, point can be considered as a leverage point. So leverage, if we have this large HI, is the, that is the leverage point, and we can think that that's the um, the potential outlier for X variables. And then influential points are observation which uh, changes the regression fit. Uh, so, influential points means that so it's the in the concept wise is a leverage times residual. So this is leverage, and then that leverage is the extreme variable. Uh, I mean extreme value in the x variables and residual, which is the contains the uh, leftover of of the information from the fitted model. Now we can use the Cook's distance, so called uh, so called Cook's D and the DF fits, and then it and so Cook's this the uh, distance measures the distance between the beta and beta minus i. So beta minus i is that the when you compute you compute this the regression coefficient deleting the observation i. So so this coefficient during observation i and original coefficient, if there is a, it, it is large, then you mean the regression fit changes. So, so that we can think that that's, that is constant influential. And then you can, we can, we can also use a DF fits, which is the measuring the change in predicted value yi. So this, uh, in the scaled sense, so we subtract y i hat minus y i hat minus i. So y i hat with minus i means that the uh, predicted value of the i when you remove the i the uh, uh, observation, and then we take a uh, s of minus i is the same concept of the y hat minus i, which is the standard deviation of the leading i observation. And then square root of hi, which is the leverage. And then if we have this large values, so di is greater than 4 divided by n, or di is greater than uh, 4 divided by n minus p minus 1, or df is, absolute value df is greater than 2 times square root of p plus 1 divided by n, then we think that the I, I thought observation is influential point. So let's look at the, the what's the difference between the leverage and influential points. So this is original data, so there's no problem. Every one, every observation lies in the linear regression line, and if you look at this one, we have observation on here, which is far from uh, from this line. And this is not the uh, so uh, this is uh, not the uh, extreme point. So it is the 
low leverage, but this is the, um, you can say this is outlier or influential point, because if you have this one, your regression line may go to this direction. However, without this one, so your regression line is here. So your regression line may change. So this is, this is can be outlier or the influence, I would, I would say the influential, I think the influential point is more exact, more the precise expression than outlier. So this one, we have a high, the extreme point, which is high leverage, but the, this is still a good fit because even though you remove this one, your regression line doesn't change. However, if you have, have lines on here, this is the um, extreme points and then it so it has a high leverage, and then this is the um, influential point because if you have this one, this point, the regression line may be changed. Without this point, your regression line stays in this line. So, here again, so the, the le between the difference between the leverage and influence is the, so, you have the this this observation on here. These this is a, a high leverage, but it's a low influence because removing this point does not change regression line much. But for this one, it is the high leverage and the influential, and it, because it changes the regression line fit. So the leverage depends on only the value of predictors and Crookes distance depends on leverage and the residuals. So in the SAS, we can get this leverage, um, Crookes distance and DF fits by specifying the option H, so we said the LEV, Crookes D as a CD and DF fits as DF fits. And then we can use a prop library to check this one. So based on the rule, the point with the leverage higher than the 2 times p plus 2 divided by n should be carefully examined. So you can get the um, points with the um, leverage points on here, which is the, um, you can put the data set, print the data set. So first you sort by the leverage on here. And the, get the data set uh, with the leverage is zero pro, uh, greater than 0 0.156. So this 0 0.156 is obtained by two times, so we have three predictors, three plus one divided by 51. So we can, so we get the, um, the leverage points for that. So uh, for, for, for the observation is high leverage, then we can, we have that the five states are have the high leverage based on this rule. And then with the same idea, we can use the Cook's distance and DF fits. So you can use Cook's distance divided by 4 divided by 51, or DF fits 2 times square root of the 3 plus 1 divided by 51. So if we use this Cook's distance rule, we can get the um, five uh, observations have the high Cook's distance. And the five observations with the DF fits. So we can see that Florida, LA, uh, state LA, and the MS and DC, they have the high influential, uh, they are the high influential uh, points. So we, in summary, we can see that DC is an extreme outlier, leverage point, the heavily influential point. So let's look at the, we fit the model without this, the C. Then if you get a look at SAS output, you can see that this R square uh, changes somehow significantly. Even though the significance of the, the variable does not change, you can see that the R square changes and the F value also changes a lot. So it is uh, recommended to you 
check this influential point and then run the model again without the influential point. And then look at the how different the model is. I think that's very important in the regression diagnostics. So here, uh, I would like to briefly introduce NOVA border selection. So here we can um, use the uh, we can think about border selection well. So when you have the, um, uh, many variables, then the, is the question is do we have the better regression model to predict the crime? And here we can, there are several border selection strategies in here. So the idea is that we consider all the potential predictors and run the regression model for each subset of predictors and use statistical model criteria to assess all regression models and pick the best one. So the forward model is the method is, is the, um, the one of the methods. So it starts with the no variables in the model. And the independent, for each independent variables, the four method calculates the F statistic that reflects the variable contribution if it is included. If no F setting has a significance variable greater than 0 0.05, then this forward model stops. Otherwise, the forward model keeps adding the variables uh, where the variable that has the largest F statistic from the model. So the variables added one by one to model until no remaining variable produces significant F statistic. And the backward one is the opposite. So it starts with the full model, and then by it calculates the F statistic by and by omitting the variable one by one, and then the the, the variable in each the variable with the uh, smallest contribution to the model is deleted, and then until F statistic is all the F statistic is statistic significant, then it stops. So this step five is the uh, uh, remain the uh, combination of these two. Uh, so uh, for more details of, the, of the, this, this better selection, I will uh, continue in the next video.